my name is Jerry Tashwa, and I'm in my recording studio with my Musser M55 Pro Vibraphone. I have been playing the Musser line of mallet instruments all of my life. I was first signed in 1972 by Mr. Dick Richardson and Mr. Bill Ludwig, and have continued to be part of the family and play their instruments, uh, and have really enjoyed the fact that the tonal quality and the build quality of these instruments have held up for me and done a very fine job. The M55 has been probably the world standard of vibraphones and something that all the other companies try to match and try to duplicate. The M55 is designed to be portable in that you basically break it down into three parts. You have the bars, which come off the frame, roll up, and go into cases. You have the resonator assemblies, the front and the back, which they slide out of the frame, and they too go into the cases. And then the frame itself, though it doesn't break in half or anything, basically the legs fold under and it too will go into its uh, specific case. And again, these, these are fairly big cases. They're the size of the instrument. Again, they're not necessarily de designed to be uh, lightweight and extremely portable, but they are. the M55 is designed for, for a quick setup. And something that I like, a lot of times when I, when I pull into a job, I, I want to be able to try to get my instrument in there in as little time as possible, have it set up. And the M55 has definitely been my workhorse for that. I use it primarily for, for local performances and a lot of the recording session work that I do. Now, the beauty of the Pro line in general is that the bars are universal. The bars on this instrument will also fit on any of the other Musser Pro line of the Lionel Hampton model, the Musser Century vibraphone, the Pro Traveler vibraphone, the Piper vibraphone, and of course the M55. So they're all interchangeable. Now the nice thing about that is you could then, at one point in your career, supposedly you got to be very busy and you needed another frame. So you can actually order another frame like the Pro Traveler, which is very, very portable. And then this set of bars will fit on that frame as well. The other option is, and this is something that I was very concerned with, is that uh, if you decide that you want to put pickups on your bars, there are several companies that make pickups. And pickups are very fragile. They're very small little contact uh, microphones, if you will, that are actually glued on the bottoms of each of the bars. So they're very fragile and something you have to be very careful with. Now, when you're using the instrument with the pickup, that's something obviously you don't have to worry about. But there's going to be situations where you don't want to have the pickups or when you're maybe in a recording studio and you're using microphones. And so you want to have an extra set of bars without the pickups to, to allow you to play the way you want to play. And uh, so there's, there's a couple options and the universality of these bars being able to fit from frame to frame make this all possible. I live in the United States and in the United States our standard for tuning forever has been A equals 440. Several years ago somebody had decided well we're going to start tuning mallet instruments to A equals 442. And I'm not sure why they made that decision but to me it really is not something that I want to be part of for the simple reason that all the pianos in my country are tuned to 440. Orchestras tuned to 440. Synthesizers, guitars, basses, they're all tuned to 440. I want an instrument that's going to be tuned to 440. Now, when I travel to Europe, Europeans seem to have a standard of 442. Musser offers the ability to special order your bars and get the tuning that you desire, whether you want an instrument at 440 or an instrument at 442 or one of each, it's your decision. Personally, I have one of each because when I travel to Europe, I will take the 442 bars with me. But in this country, the 440 is what I want. It's what I use. And now the average person may not actually hear the difference between 442 and 440. It's a very, very, very subtle difference. However, if you have refined perfect pitch or if you're playing with another mallet instrument or another instrument such as the piano where you may be playing unison lines, the difference in the friction rub between 440 and 42, though subtle, can be something that I really don't want on my recording. So again, as I live in this country and as I perform in this country, I want bars and my instrument is tuned to 440. 
I know there's a lot of debate on that and a lot of things that are going on with well which one should I get and that's just how I feel and again Musser offers you the ability to custom order your set of bars for your specific tuning. With that said I'm going to go ahead and move on and talk about some of the other Musser instruments. Thank you.